so that both of you can see your basic. Hey, it's Mimo from the Campus Socialites After Hours. We're here in East Meadow, New York after 11 o'clock on a Friday night filming this YouTube vlog video for you. I'm here with my guest and sidekick, Matty Ice. So, and in case you didn't know it, I'm Mimo. Your infamous favorite campus socialite intern ever. I'm here to introduce the first ever vlog that you helped create on your own. You guys made it possible. I got tons of emails, tons of comments, and tons of tweets of what this YouTube dub should be and what this vlog should be talked about. To start off, I'm going to say this is no one talked about this, but there's a lot of subtle campus socialite marketing here. Bam, bam. Bam. Up there. So subtle. Extremely subtle. That if you didn't know... You get more subtle than that. And that if you're not even watching it from the Campus Socialite, you should be watching it from the Campus Socialite. Another thing is, is I'm so Campus Socialite out that I should get a raise for this. Anyway. We're also really smart. Mm, not so much, man. No, I'm just a sleeper genius. I stopped <laughs> reading since the 8th grade. And I made it through college. Reading doesn't prove anything. Yeah, it doesn't. It's so, overrated. It, it is overrated, I personally think. But read our blog, thecampusorchlight.com, <laughs> that someone sent to me at csmeatloaf.com, which can be seen right across right here, is talk about sriracha. And given to us by Marcus Charlie the Third, the only person I'll ever give out their full name, because he's a third. And that's a lot more than you are, or any of you guys watching this is. So what about Sriracha? Sriracha, I didn't know about until I read this email. I bought it and tried it and it is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we've been eating it on everything for the past week now since we started this whole you guys decide everything. I just eat it plain. It's really good. It is so spicy and so flavorful that it's the perfect combination. Like it is so good. So what about Sriracha be like? First off, it's good on everything. You can put it on Anything and it'd be good. You mix it with ketchup, it's fantastic. Tartar sauce, it's fantastic. I suggest everyone get a fish fillet from McDonald's and put some sriracha on it. That makes the worst thing you could ever order at McDonald's somewhat more bearable than it already is. <laughs> uh, uh, Showman had a very good point about texture about sriracha that I can't express well because I'm not. One with the word. <laughs> I've described it before as kind of jelly, but I think more of a ketchup. It's, it's, it's like what happens when you blend jello and ketchup. It is fantastic. It is fantastic. If no one likes this video, <laughs> our cameraman likes this video a lot. And uh, I, if there's not a rapper in the background. I like this video too. <laughs> Moving on to the next topic, another thing I got emailed to me from csmeatloaf at gmail.com was watches. And this person just emailed watches. And uh, it can be interpreted a bunch of ways, but uh, the way me and Showman see that watches should be interpreted as are the timepieces that none of us have. There are no watches. Watches are the most useless thing in the entire world, technically. You know what I mean? Yeah. If someone asked me what time it was, if someone asked me what time it was, I'd probably look at my cell phone first. And if they wanted me to look at my watch, I'd give them a round part, like a ballpark estimate of what time actually and is. And no watches ever line up correctly. Yeah. Everyone could have different time. Well. I, I think everyone trusts cable time, and I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure cell phone is cable time. Thank you, Taylor B., for sending us just the word watches. If you wanted to talk about something, give us a little more meat and potatoes. Oh, something we got from our fan page from Chelsea S was what talk about the pros and cons of dubstep. And I personally think dubstep makes my ears bleed. I know my friend Matty Ice over here loves dubstep, so I think he gives us a little bit of a, a background on what dubstep truly is. So since so Showman doesn't want to talk about the pros of dubstep, I'll tell you about the cons of dubstep. <laughs> the cons of dubstep. <laughs> Are that it's dirty bass, it's grimy bass, it causes headaches, and I'm pretty sure it's a sound, it's a music soundtrack to someone getting raped. 
And I, I don't take rape lightly. I don't find it funny. And I personally think that dubstep should be better. There are some people who find it very funny. Uh, the final topic that we're going to be vlogging about today is we got from our fan page, and it was from Horizon. And uh, he asked us to look into the workout regimen of the devil from Acapulco. And I, like, Googled him, and I did some research on this. And he's not that in shape, and I don't know what this Horizon kid was talking about. But honestly, what I got out of his workout regimen is a lot of crack cocaine. Because that dude is, like, running it up and down that stage. Second, he's, like, really fat. And if you paint yourself silver and then paint a six-pack, that makes you fit. It's then slimming, too. It's sl I guess it might be the slimming. silver is slimming, first of all. And, and then he paints a six-pack. And then he paints a six-pack. I think if that's all it takes, then I'm going to enter Mr. Universe and just, like, spray paint biceps on these skinny puny arms. Dude, plus, if you're silver, people are going to think you're metal and you're a robot and you're going to win all And, like, metal's, like, automatically strong and Yeah, shit. exactly. Um, strobe lights on his hand. And he does have <laughs> strobe lights on his hand. But back to his workout regimen. Yeah, like so basically just do cocaine for, uh, for a few weeks and paint your body silver and get someone to paint you your six-pack. I suggest your mother, because your mother wants you to look your best at all times. And that brings us to an end on our uh, first ever YouTube's, YouTube's, Meatloaf's YouTube Dump Vlog Entry. It's uh, a mouthful. It's a mouthful. It is a mouthful. Get it's, used a, to it. it's a working title. We might even make you change. Should we tell them to pick a name if, if they feel they yeah. have a better name for this vlog? Yeah. If you have, give us a vlog name.